I've lost my chance. I've lost my tall, dark, and handsome man. As he went off into the distance, he spun around, looked me in the eye, and said, Before I go, will you help me oil my back? Oh my God, I've never been so happy in my life. If you had just been me for that moment and seen what I seen, you would die too, girls, believe me. Believe me. Okay, uh, yeah, much better. I think, because I know the uh, casting director really well on this one, um, can you be near the end about the tone body and oh my, can you kind of be more, more flirtatious towards camera? Okay. You know, pouting, whatever you, you know, whatever you feel is more flirtatious. Because, as you well know, sex sells and yeah. this is the industry. It's not about the acting pretty much anymore. It's about the way you look. You look great. Yeah. Um, but obviously, you're a good actor as well, which helps. So. Mm -hmm. we'll I'll get try. There. We'll get there. Just I'll try. One more, and one more. And I think um, I, I know the producer really well. I'm a casting director, so I, I don't have any um, issues there. I just want to get this right. And then once we get it right, then... I think I can get you the part. Thanks for helping me. That's all right. Okay, anyway. Well, thanks for staying last night. <laughs> well, anyway, let's. Um, yeah, let's, let's do, do this. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Hi, my name is Sylvia, and today I will be playing the role of Jemima from Midnight Oil. Sorry, I thought you were my friend. Oh my goodness, you're not my friend. That's what he said to me. And as he said it to me, all I could think was, please be my friend. Please, why can't I be your friend? Oh, why have we not always been friends? He was gorgeous. You should have seen his body. Hot, Italian, hairy. You know what tall, dark, and handsome is? Do you know what true tall, dark, and handsome is? This was tall, dark, and handsome. I have no word of a lie, just died and gone to heaven. He turned around, because he realized we weren't friends, and my heart dropped and I thought, Jemima, just say it to him. Say that you would like to do him. <laughs> Pretty much, but don't say that, because if you say that aloud, then, then he'll reject you for the rest of your life. Don't give it away too quick. Just, just be cool, be cool, say something. And as he walked off, my heart raced, it, it raced faster and faster and faster, and he turned around and said, hang on. And I thought, oh my God, please, 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 ask me out, ask me out, just do it now, please. And he said, do you, uh, do you, do you have oil? I thought, why, why would I? Yes, I have oil, yes, what would you, yeah, 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 of course I have oil. Found the oil, threw it at him. And he ran off with it. He ran off with my oil. That was a moment for me to oil his back and I didn't do it. Well, girls, I tell you what, the next time a tall, dark and handsome comes towards you, oil their motherfucking back. Okay. Okay. Um, yeah. Don't you think it's amazing how penguins, they, they find their soulmate and then the man stays with the egg and the woman has to go, uh, sorry, the woman stays and the man has to go and find food and everything and then he comes back to her and they stay together for life, the penguins. I think, I think that's the way it goes. I, I don't know who watches the egg. I can't remember. I was watching a... A documentary on it and it just oh, the only thing that really stood out in my mind was how how they were always together they're together for life mm -hmm. that, that's them for life it's really really fascinating yeah quite romantic yeah. have you ever why do you think that is why do you think penguins are 
are so good at it and it doesn't happen everywhere. Well, lobsters do, don't they? Yeah. That's true. Penguins and lobsters. Mm. So, you need to respect the avocado. Respect the avocado, go on. Do you, do you know how to respect an avocado? No, but I'm sure you can show me. Show me. Show, grab an avocado. Any try, avocado? Uh, try one. I'll go for this one. Okay, you picked a good one. Good one. Okay. okay. Okay, so, now, yeah. this is a serious thing. Ready? I'm ready. Yeah. Round, 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 round. Hey. Now, Press now we're in business. That's good, that's good, that's good. Now, I've seen other people do other things, but this is my, my version, and we're going to do the Sylvia way, okay? Otherwise... You go wrong. Probably, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you got <follow> going. <laughs> There's probably better ways to do this than yeah. what I've just done, but yeah. you know. And then I would just kind of scoop it around and really let the avocado know that you're working together. Okay. This is a, a symbiotic thing. Not the who's the boss? No, no. It's, it's a mutual agreement. Your partners, your friends. Exactly. You and the avocado need to work together. together. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So. Mm. Let's try round two, because two halves make a whole. Okay, that's you know? what I do, yeah. And, uh... Voila. Perfecto. Shall we? Yeah. Yeah, yeah of course. Yeah, yeah. You know, you, you don't really zoom in on them and... You mean what about us? Hmm. Come on then. <laughs> <laughs> No, is that what you meant? Oh, did uh, I misread that? Well, you know, we can, yeah. We can. Shall we? I mean, Ted, why not? It'd be rude not to, wouldn't it? <laughs> yeah. You want to go get yourself ready? You've thrown my glasses all over the place. Yeah. Actually, I yeah. bought you a little something uh, that I'd like you to uh, put on for me. Oh. Oh. Wow, you went... You... Yeah. Thank it's, you. Um, Silk. I thought it'd actually uh... match my glasses. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, it'd be good on your complexion. So. Uh, yeah, I love it. Yeah. I will. I will. I know Ted that we've, you know, we've had our moments, mm -hmm. rocky, up and down, and all over the place, really. Yeah. But um, you know, I do love you. And I do want to make us work. Mm -hmm. And I really like that you. Yeah. Thank you. Okay. Give us a go. Why not? Give us a go. Yeah, yeah, why not? Be rude not to. Yeah. And I will get you there in your career. Trust me. Get ready for me. Hey! Yes, just a little bit. Hi, 
actually might. Yeah. I might not actually um, mm -hmm. be back later as well um, because we might be doing a night shoot. So that's all right. Okay, so you're out all night then, doing your your movie stuff, working on this movie. Yeah, you're gonna just we're gonna do we are we even gonna watch a movie together? Are we gonna have this 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 dinner? Are we gonna yeah yeah gonna, no, gonna no, 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 do anything? Calm, are we gonna be calm, 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 you know? Calm, calm, are we calm, gonna calm down, calm down, calm down. What I'm saying is, you're gonna cook a nice lovely dinner for us. We're gonna go watch a film. Mm -hmm. Have some nice. I might go to the bedroom. And then I have to go out and make some money for us, you know? to go, I may confine mm. my flower. He was not enemy of me, we were gentle beings. So, um, do you want to all separate this, yourself or? and me, by distances okay. become a single bloom will constitute... Can we not just sit for five minutes and enjoy a show mm. together? Okay. To have some actual time together. Yeah? Yeah, sure. just that every time we try to have a moment together, mm -hmm. you know, you just always go in that direction. Uh, anyway, uh, I'm going to go off film set, so... Um, yeah, you, to, uh, you just go, yeah, that's fine. So yes, yeah, 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 your food stinks. Okay. Fuck you. Before the host slid the bolt onto the door to search for the accomplished guest, her visitor no more.
was having a dream, so... Um, what did you say? I said... I don't know. I was dreaming. You call me Lucy. I was, ah! Yes, you did. Uh, I was dreaming. Ah, every time, Ted. Every time. Oh, my God. Ah. Fuck off. Dream. I don't give a shit who hears me. Here's what I have to say about you and your fucking ways, yeah? Mm. Okay? The way you treat me is absolutely... I don't know why the fuck am I still here? Why the fuck am I still here? Why am I still standing beside you? I fucking can't stand you sometimes. Mm. It's your small little glimmer of becoming famous through me. That's why you're still here. That's why you're probably making this whole thing up out here so some media fucking... Perhaps it comes and sees you with me arguing on the streets. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah, yeah. You don't excite me anymore, do you? Again. There's your sick, twisted ways. You twist everything, every little thing. You work it, you do it, you twist it. Mm -hmm. You twist me off and then you fucking cheat every fucking time. I cheat for a reason. Yeah. You don't excite me anymore. Ted. Ted. I know you can hear me. Wake up, Ted. Give me half an hour, I'm tired. Just leave, leave me alone. Ted, wake up. Where were you last night? Again. Where were you? I told you. I was out with Lionel. Yeah? How was Lionel looking? How was Lionel looking? Lionel was looking like Lionel. Yeah? Ted, don't lie to me. Lie about what? You know I've been busy on the film. Don't lie to me, Ted. I'm not lying to you. I was out with Lionel, we had a few drinks afterwards, and that was it. I came back and I get this.
Tell me the truth, Ted. Are you cheating on me? Tell me the truth. Look me in the eyes and tell me the truth. I don't want to hear your bullshit. Tell me the truth. Am I cheating on you? Yes. Define cheating. What is cheating to you? Define it. Define Is that the world you live in? Define cheating. Are you serious right now? Are you actually serious? Yes, I'm serious. If I come back to a lady in my bed, I expect to make love to that lady. If I don't make love to that lady and I go off with another lady, is that cheating? Is that really cheating? Because I don't think it is. Ted, you abs... Have you slept with another woman then? Yes. Then that is cheating! That's not cheating! That is cheating! That's bit a man beating a man. What's wrong with you? What's wrong with me? You! That's what's wrong with me! You! Sing all the time! You drive me to other women! Oh, I think I'm gonna be sick. Oh my god. Oh, I fucking knew it anyways. I mean, fucking ah! I'm not going to apologise. If you want me to apologise, I'm not going to apologise. I'll tell you why. Because I come on to this all the time. some sleep. It's been a long night. You do whatever the fuck you want, that's all you ever do anyways. Don't give a shit about anyone else. All I've ever given you is the best of Calm down, Anna. How do you... How do you even live with yourself to ask me that question? Have you calmed down now? Honestly. 
What kind of a question is that? It was just a one night, mm -hmm. nothing other than that. Oh my god, okay, yeah, I'm sure it was, Ted, I'm sure it was. Yeah, fun. Just please, I've only just got to a point where just, just stop, please, just stop, 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 okay? Please. My mind and my heart can only take so much in... Just stop, okay? Let me just drink my fucking tea. Anyway, um, I met Lionel and... Um, We've been um, commissioned. The investors are backing Foxy Lady, um, so it's going to be huge. Got a huge budget, and um, things are looking up. So um, good for you. sit here across from me. Be the great old Ted that you are. I... I don't know what to say. I, I, I just... I think you need to maybe see a counsellor or something about... Um, the way you're feeling at the moment, I don't think you're in the right place. <laughs> I need to see a counsellor. That's hilarious. Mm. See, this, this, this is you. You're smiling, you've been happy. This is, you know, you're like a foxy lady yourself, you know, delightful to look at. This is what attracted to me, to you in the first place. But this... Walking around moping and doping, feeling sorry for yourself is it just turns me off. It really does. Do you still think I'm a foxy lady? Absolutely. Someone else. They loved you. 
they've seen you, they think you're great, just not for this, which is fine for us because we're going to get you something else, okay? They've seen you, they love you. It's not the end of the world, you know, we will find you something else. Wait. Okay? Wait. You're serious? They're actually going to go with someone else on this? But Ted guaranteed me that I would get the role in this. Wow. You said it. It was a. It was a hundred percent happening. There was no maybe. There was no. Hey, I might tell you that it's not going to happen, and now you're sitting here and saying this. Well, unfortunately, Ted isn't as influential as we both thought. Okay. <sighs> Laura, you really, you really, 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 really know. No. This is this I needed. I needed this, Laura. You d no, it would been, it would have been nice, okay? But you don't need it, honey. We'll find you something else. Honestly, I have faith in you, okay? I'm here for you. We will find you something else. I... It's fine. It's fine. <sighs> yes, sure, it would have been great, but you know, there's there's always going to be something else, okay? Are you sure? Yeah, I'm sure. I don't, I don't think so, Laura. I think Why this not? is it for me. No, I on. think this is it. You can't say that. No. I'm your agent. I can't believe that. Time and time again, I need, I really, I, when I say to you, I needed this. I mean it. I needed this so much. Why, why this? Just it. Just you. It's fine. I'll, I know. I'm here to work for you. I'll find you something else. Okay. Come on. Come on. It hurts so much. Everything. Everything is just so heavy. And I was. I can't do this, Laura. It's so I can't do this. Ted, where are you? No, I, I'm asking because I need to see you now. No, okay, I don't care. Can you just meet me? I'm at Sylvia's. Yeah. Okay, just replace me some minutes. Okay, fine. Oh, Ted. It would be really nice if for once when you say you're going to do something, you're going to do it. Because then I've got to break the news to Sylvia that she's not going to part which apparently you told her 100% she's going to get a lead role in a big feature, which she's right, she could really use right now. Mm hmm. So you're and you don't deliver. Can I get a word? You're telling me she didn't get the part. <laughs> you're telling me you don't know about this. Yeah, absolutely. I don't know anything about this. Oh, of course not, Ted. You know, you, you don't know shit, do you? You can't deliver shit, clearly. I sent the video across. I spoke to Tom, the producer. Everything was 100% going ahead. Something has happened in between. Probably you and your poor negotiation ah. has probably messed up the contract. So it's, it's my fault. Like American. Uh, yeah, thank you. Cheers. So, when you say that she's going to get the part, you tell me and you tell her. Mm -hmm. It's my fault she didn't. In a nutshell, yeah. Ted, come on. Come on, what? What the fuck happened? Okay. 
reiterate if you want. We Ted, no, come on, just... Why, why tell her that she's going to get it? There shouldn't have been a problem. You are her agent. You're not a very good agent, let's face it. I'm not going to wait. If you were a good agent, it was nailed on. Why did you get the part? Ted, I'm not writing to your bullshit, mm. OK? OK. Do this every time. Let's change subjects then. How have you been? So do you actually give a shit about Sylvia? Of course. Seriously? Absolutely. Clearly. Absolutely. She basically had a mental breakdown in front of me when I told her she didn't get this part. Well, I've spoke to her, I've advised her to bring in a counsellor, but she's not interested. And, that, and that's, that's that? Mm, that's that. It's her issue, not mine. Seriously? Absolutely. Oh. When it's all, we it's were all, yeah, it's all coming back now. Why are we not together anymore? Mm. But when we were together, did you need a counsellor? Yeah, probably. Mm. If it were that easy. You're too frigid, that's your problem. That's why I left. You got to do enough. In fact, there's another tell nearby. Why did we pick up where we left off? I know what you like. Okay, Ted, this has been... <sighs> Lovely as always. Mm. You know what? And I'm gonna miss having my delicious lunch because you are such a cock. Mm. I've never seen you in this light before.
abandoned me too. Talk to me. Talk to me. Come on. Come on. Come on. Please. Talk to me. something to offer. I had something to give. Looks like these shells are broken. Hello? Who 
is this? Who is this? How did you get this number? How did you? Uh, Alicia, sorry, Alicia, Sylvia, Sylvia, Alicia, um, you know, of first, um, Sylvia and how great of an actress she is. Yeah. Um, Alicia's the production assistant on Foxy Lady, um, and I just brought her back to go through some notes and final details of the scripts. Didn't expect you to be up at this time, usually in bed, so, uh, feel free to hang around, we're just going to go through some Finer details. Uh, we've been out for a couple of drinks, so I'm, I'm not being leery. It's just, you know, it's just, it's just uh, a good night, wasn't it? Actually. Yeah. It was yeah. Amazing. Yeah, it was good. Good. Um, and do you want more wine? Keep going. Um. Yeah. Go for it. Yeah. Yeah. Sweet. Dry. Mm, sweet. Okay. Oh, you'd like it sweet. Thanks. Just a little feeling out. <laughs> yeah. Get to know each other. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. Such a lovely house you've got here. So have you known Ted long? Cheers. Cheers. Do you know about the eyes? The eyes. Oh. oh yeah. Oh, Cheers. Forget Cheers. the eyes. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So what we're going to do is we're going to. What we're going to do is we're going to talk about production value as a production assistant. Yeah. Which is so in I'm just going to make a little private video of you. A private video? Yeah, just for my yeah. collection. Yeah. collection. Well, no, no, it's not a collection. It's just uh, you're, you're the first uh, girl I've done this with. But, yeah. And um, I just, uh, I don't know. There's some things that I'd like to watch back. Maybe when I'm feeling a bit naughty. You know. So, uh, can you just count your lips? Mm. And could you just take one shoulder uh, down on your dressing gown? Oh, you are so, so attractive. <laughs> Thank you. I just Thank love you. the way you look. Thank you. <laughs> no, no, keep it down, please. Okay. Yeah. And if you can just toss your hair to one side, on that side. That's it. Yeah. Have you done any sort of modelling before? Um, yeah, I thought about it, but yeah, I think you've just got the look. You could be a supermodel. You're so beautiful. Thank you. You know what I'm thinking right now, don't you? What? Well, do I have to say? Okay, I know how you think. So don't really want to say these. Don't. I've got to go out, that's my problem. Maybe I can be a bit late. Could you just drop that down slightly? I don't need to see your breath, but just slightly. Just go. Just go. Just go, okay. I really, really want you right now. Alicia? Yeah? Come here, please.
Of course I missed you. Of course. you work hmm I want you work tell me tell me
I think I need to follow that counsellor. What? Vou ver. Vou ver. É que sim. Um, I've got some good news and bad news. Um, the good news is I've got you a supporting role in Foxy Lady. And the not so good news is it's not the lead role, it's just going to be a, a cameo role. Um, it wasn't my decision, I tried to influence Lionel, but he wanted to go with a new up and coming actress. So I, uh, I know it can't be great, certainly what happens with Midnight Oil, and I suppose to Laura about that, and I understand that you, you deserve a you know, a good job, but um, um, and I, I understand and I realise you can't be feeling great, um, um, so I, on the way home, uh, I've just got a little teddy bear just to, just to uh, keep you happy. I've had a stressful day, so I'm going to grab myself a, a glass of wine. Would you like one? Mm. Yeah. I knew you'd be alright with it.
So uh, I'm really, really looking forward to Fox Lady. I think it's going to be fantastic. And once it's finished, we can probably go away somewhere and have a nice break together. And I don't know, let's go somewhere nice. What do you fancy? Let's go to Yorkshire. <laughs> <laughs> Anywhere in the world you want to go to really Yorkshire, but yeah, okay. My neck of the woods, why not? Okay, sounds good. I get a log cabin up there and it's a nice time to go. Very smart. See what you did here. You took away the thorn. But that's the best part. see confusion. Just know. I know that the shortest line is the one for me. them all, cut them all in half. What stops you? <sighs> Nothing. You do not decide my destiny. I do, not you. So, um, how's your week been? It's been crazy. We haven't literally heard from you in so long. We just wanted to make sure that you're okay. Is everything all right? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah, I'm okay. Good. Yeah. <laughs> um, so, um, I heard you had an audition. How did that go? I... Um, I, I got the audition. That's, that's fantastic. Well done. How did it go? And then I did the audition. Yeah. And then I, I didn't get the part. Oh, I'm... I'm... I'm really sorry, I, I didn't realise. Um, yeah. Me either. <laughs> hey, we should go out tonight. Celebrate, get you totally drunk and then you'll be all forgetting about it. I'm gonna stay here. Just stay here. Okay. 
Um, so, how how are you feeling about it? I, I mean, oh, I'm fine. I'm really, really fine. Yeah, maybe everything's fine. I've been, I've been really just, just thinking a lot to myself, which is really nice sometimes yeah yeah and just I've, I've actually I found something out yeah and now I can't stop looking at my hands and 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 thinking about this but <sighs> you have it <laughs> what? what are you talking about <laughs> you're okay oh my the lifeline. <laughs> do, do you know about this? <laughs> no. <laughs> Tell me about it. What is it? What is it? Oh. So, this line, it's, it's your life. And this tells you when you're going to die. But, but, but. <laughs> <laughs> what does it say? <laughs> this is the best one. <laughs> I tell it when I'm going to die, not not the other way around. So this, this, okay. <sighs> and and do you in control now? I guess so. Yeah. Good. <laughs> Are you alright? Yeah, of course. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Um. So. This, sorry, I, I don't want to bring it up. I, I'm just, I'm just curious because I mean, you've obviously been here a while. I, I just want to make sure that you're, you're obviously okay. And I just, you know, some people have been talking. I just want to make sure I think with you and Ted is going okay as well. I mean, it must have been a bit awkward after the audition. Yeah, yeah. Ted. <laughs> Hello, this is Sylvia, and I will be auditioning for the role of a dead person. It's really funny, you know, being a dead person. It's nothing, nothing feels, nothing happens. The only time I fell was in my dreams one time. I'm looking into the eyes of a dead person. Someone is already dead. What do I see when I look into these eyes, huh? What do you see? Is it fear? No. Not fear. Is it hatred? Guilt? What do you have to be guilty about, huh? It's them who did it, not you! Pain. Pain. You can't feel pain. You have to know love to feel pain, and no one loves you.
hatred. You already said that. We're back. So graceful ways. Present just inner, inner everything. People can learn a lot from you. are in motion since our last meeting. Got your name out there, got your headshot out there. Great reactions from the market. You are a very easy sell. You've got a great look. Mm. Extremely talented for what you've done already. Mm. And the good news is... Mm -hmm. I like you. it already. The good news <laughs> yeah. is I'm already I'll like, like it. what is it? <laughs> mm -hmm. You have a video audition. Okay. Which needs to be sent by next Thursday to America okay. for the lead in a new feature film oh my God. called Midnight Oil. Oh my God. This is huge. No. And I'm not going to tell you yeah. who's behind it. Okay. Because they are very big names and I don't want you to freak out. <laughs> <laughs> but um, from what I said, mm -hmm. I told them and their uh, initial feedback that your look and your show so far. Yeah. Very keen. Yeah, no, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Aw, oh, that'd be so good. 
Well, that's uh, that solved the problem. I know we can't be ready, so then what happens with me? Well, I suppose we'll worry about that and I understand that you, you deserve a, you know, a good... I might as well tell you while I'm here, um, that we offered it to... Um, What was the name again? <laughs> Sabrina. Sabrina. Mm-hmm. Oh. Crackle, crackle, crackle. <sighs> yeah, so... And shaggy your way to the top, probably. Well, it's actually a couple, but that, that's by the by. Oh, even better. Um, I don't see the fear in your eyes. So, action. You're pregnant. We've got a few options and... Um, and Sabrina, can you tell us a bit about uh, what it's like, the whole Ted experience, uh, being his leading lady in this particular film? Get that fucking stupid scarf off! Move your fucking seat! 